All right, everyone. So buried in the big ESPN article that we've talked about many times is the teams that Bill Belichick would like to coach for. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, he was fine coaching the Falcons, the Commanders, and we don't know where else, but, you know, he might have been fine coaching at any of those places. So I'm not exactly sure that these are the only teams he would, but these are clearly the ones he would like to go to, and they all reside in the same division. So the three teams are the Dallas Cowboys, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the New York Giants. So here's the story and why this is important. For starters, this puts every coach in that division on the hot seat, or I should say these three coaches in that division, the commander's coach, probably not in the hot seat because they just hired him over Belichick, but these three coaches are now on the hot seat. You have in the Dallas Cowboys organization, McCarthy has not been extended. Jerry Jones made it very clear the reason why that was and that they want to see some improvement before they extend them. If the Cowboys don't make a playoff run, McCarthy could be fired and Bill Belichick could find his way to the Cowboys. Now, there have been reports about how that wouldn't really mesh together because Jerry Jones is a very hands-on owner and Bill Belichick likes to have control over the organization. But it seems to me, and this is without any knowledge or anything, insider scoop or anything like that, this is just my personal opinion, but it seems like they would find a way to make it work out just because Jerry Jones would love the idea of bringing in someone like Bill Belichick and Bill Belichick would say to that roster, yes, let me coach that roster. I could do it better. So I think both situations, it works out well. Okay. The second team, the Philadelphia Eagles, similar. The Eagles, you know, have Nick Sirianni, who, by the way, this is completely unfair in my view that he's on the hot seat. Same way I kind of feel about McCarthy. And we said this before, we don't think McCarthy actually should be on the hot seat, but since Bill Belichick is out there, it puts him automatically on the hot seat. And he's like the only coach we'd be like, yeah, you have to get rid of the guy who brought you uh, three straight 12 and five seasons for Bill Belichick would be on there. Nick Sirianni, he is, I think, even in a more unfair position, which is he brought his team to the Super Bowl just two years ago. Last season, they started 10 and one. The wheels did end up falling off, but the idea that you bring your team to the Super Bowl you start your team 10-1, and, and then you are on the hot seat just because of that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to us. With that being said, Belichick would fit in wonderfully with the Eagles, similar to Dallas, where you would say, hey, team is full of talent, and because of that, you could, you know, this is what we've talked about. He needs to go to a team that is full of talent. Brady didn't go to a team that was rebuilding. He went to a team that although they had not been great in the playoffs recently, and although they probably wouldn't have won a Super Bowl without him, they did have a ton of talent. Belichick needs to find a similar place. So those two are very similar, and I think very good situations for Bill Belichick to go to. The final one, the New York Giants, is a much different situation, but I think it's equally as good as the first two. Here's why. Bill Belichick obviously has an emotional tie to the Giants. He was the defensive coordinator on the Giants when they, you know, were winning Super Bowls with Lawrence Taylor and company, with Bill Parcells being the head coach. He always has talked about how, you know, he'll never kind of forget that time and how it's such an emotional thing for him. And honestly, I think there's a chance that Bill Belichick could get the type of control he seeks with the Giants. Now, that would have to be Joe Schoen and Brian Diaball being let go, but I don't think that's a crazy thing to think sense and even if Schoen existed and was still the GM right on the Giants would so they existed at the same time on the roster or in the I guess not really in the roster but in the organization maybe Belichick would still have more say um, in you know decisions like that with that being said similar to the Sirianni and McCarthy are points on that I don't think it's fair that Dayball is on the hot seat look Brian Dayball should not get criticized for the fact that he overachieved in his first season Nobody expected them to do what they did in the first season, and they did a fantastic job. The second year, it came down to injuries. Everybody could see that. You can't lose two quarterbacks and expect to continue winning, and they were still able to pull out some wins with DeVito. So because of that, it's super unfair, I think, that Brian Dayball would be on the hot seat. But like we just said, if there's one coach who, uh, you know, you reasonably would think about getting rid of your good coach for, it would be Bill Belichick. Of course, all three of these teams have to 
kind of away the fact that Belichick is a short-term, not a long-term option. And that's why for, you know, Belichick's sake, I would say the Cowboys and the Eagles are probably the two better options because those are more win-now rosters. Not that the Giants may be, make the playoffs this year. You know, I know a lot of people are way down on them personally. I'm not. If they can stay healthy, they added Brian Burns. They, they've made some additions. I think they could be okay, even though they lost Saquon. With that being said, they don't have the roster that the Eagles have, and they don't have the roster that the um, Cowboys have. So if you're talking about Super Bowl soon, that's probably the better spot. But if you're talking about the control that he wants in the organization, that could be the Giants, and then maybe he can get the get the Giants to the point where they win a Super Bowl quicker than um, you would think. But with that being said, I think Belichick will certainly find his way into the NFL, and it's very likely it could be one of these three teams. I think it's more likely it's the Cowboys or the Eagles and the Giants, not just because I think it's a better spot, but because I think those coaches are on a way hotter hot seat. And it's more likely that the Cowboys or the Eagles have a very bad year that causes a coach to be fired. You know, the Giants, if, even if they don't make the playoffs, it's not necessarily, okay, Dayball and Showman are out, right? It's probably unlikely that they're out unless they won like two games and it was just terrible. The Cowboys, if they don't make the NFC Championship, there's a pretty good, you know, chance that that McCarthy's not brought back just based off the fact that it's the NFC Championship or the Super Bowl that Jerry Jones wants to be in because it's been so long since they've been there. In the Eagles, it's similar. If the Eagles play like they did at the end of last year to begin this season, the hot seat is going to be hot on Sirianni, and he may end up there. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.